Alright, so I'm gonna show you how to like edit for beginners. Um, yeah, so it's not anything advanced, but it's like if you're beginner level. So first you wanna get your clips. Um, I'm just gonna go with this one. Uh, just drag and drop. Um, I normally click no, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so you just wanna drag your clip. You can drag from anywhere. Um, oh yeah, make sure you put in your song too, by the way. Um, so if you go, it should look like this a bit. If you look around, there should be like these big bunches of sound um, on your music. So find where the first is, like right here. Um, and then click where it's at. Uh, yeah, okay. And then now you want to be able to like trim your clip, so you just go over to the edge and just drag it. Uh, and then now you want to drag your clip to where you found the sound at. So just find where your character shoots, really, it's more reliable. Um, then click U and delete it if you don't want the game sound, which I don't want the game sound. Um, now right click your clip, go to insert slash move uh, envelope, click on velocity, um, zoom in. So you want to click where the sound is and go 1, 2, 3 frames back. And then you want to go back to that point and go 1, 2, 3 frames forward. Put the last frame by right clicking on the point to 50% uh, forward. Then the middle one, you can just drag it anywhere from 200 to 500. I'm going to do 450, that's what I like. And uh, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good like that. So uh, you can drag and pump sounds or whatever if you want, but I'm not going to do that. So click on your middle point, click on S on your keyboard. And it should split like that, so you'll have two pieces here. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to go to video effects, go in the search bar, type in shake, and click on S shake. Uh, just drag on default, because you probably won't have presets if you're watching this. Um, keyframe amplitude. Um, then I also keyframe Y amplitude. Uh, then turn off X shake, because it's X shake and you don't want X shake. Um, same with tilt shake, turn that off, definitely. Okay, so now you should only have Y shake on. And so go back to the first thing. For shakes, you can really mess around as much as you want. Um, so I'm just gonna drag this up to like, let's say 92. Don't copy me, cause it's probably not gonna look good. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit forward, if you see me dragging down here, um, and put it to zero. I'm gonna right click on this, the first point of your X sh or Y shake, and put it to um, fast fade. So now we're gonna watch that, um, see if it looks good. And actually that looks pretty good. Okay. Um, so that's how you do shakes. And then also you can uh, put on another one. Uh, another shake, I mean, sorry. Um, get rid of X, get rid of, oops and then get rid of Y, and then this time we're gonna keep tilt shake, um, and put the random amplitude down to pretty low, like 0.61, um, and then it should just, yeah, and you see how it like sways back and forth the entire clip, that's, that's pretty good, um, yeah, okay, so that's how you do like a shake, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty basic to do just a normal shake. But to make it look good, um, look up RGB. Get S the store RGB, put on default. It's gonna look horrible. Um, put it on like 0 0.04 or 0 0.05 or 0 0.06. Those are the best. Um, and then put on keyframe. Uh, and then go to wherever you want it to end. So I'm gonna go a bit further than where the shake ends. Put that to zero. Okay, um, so now if we go here, right, onto our distort RGB keyframe, right click it, instead of putting it on fast, put it on slow this time, slow fade, you can see it, good. Yeah, see so you can't really even see the RGB, which is not what we want, so, uh, I'm gonna do like pre-render again, okay, I'm gonna go to this. And we'll move the keyframe up to like 0 0.05 instead. 
can see if you can see it better. Yeah, okay. Um, and then now I'm just gonna mess around with uh, warp red and warp green and everything. I'm gonna put red a bit further down, and I'm gonna put green a bit further down as well. I'm gonna put blue up a bunch because blue looks the best in my opinion. Um, so now we have a cool RGB. You can see it on like the side of the wood. Yeah, see how that's like a good punch. Um, you can add other stuff um, like flicker. Flicker is good as flicker. Um, just put on default. Uh, turn the brightness down a tiny bit. Um, and then just keyframe amplitude and put it to like wherever your RGB ends and put it to nothing. Um, so that should give it a little extra punch. Probably can't see it very much, but yeah. Um, yeah, you can't. You don't really need to add anything else other than that, honestly. You can add like um, I don't know, blur. You can add lens blur. Lens blur is good. Uh, let me find the uh, fast lens blur. Yeah. So really, it just depends on what you want to add. Um, everything's kind of the same. Uh, put iris scale down to like six. Um, put gamma up a bit. I'm gonna put it on like 400. Uh, E-frame iris scale. Put it further down. Put it to zero. Um, and for iris scale, I normally do a uh, smooth uh, fade. So I'm gonna put it on smooth. Um, so I'll see how that looks. That is what it looks like with lens blur, which is actually pretty clean. Um, it's like an Excel kill. Um, so yeah, that's how you do like a normal um, shake and kill. Uh, so now we want to get into transitions. So first you want to drag your clip so it's not long. Um, you don't want there to be a lot of dead time, so you normally want it to be in the effect and yeah. Yeah. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to get blur mode curves. I'm just going to put it on there. Um, this is really probably the most simple thing to do. Um, animate Z distance. Or, yeah, keyframe it, you know what I mean. Um, go back five frames by using your left arrow key. Um, I didn't count. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, now you just want to click on this green thing, which appear a little key from there. Go back to the end, put the Z distance down to 0.5, uh, right click this, oops, I moved it on accident, but it's okay, it won't matter. Uh, put it on slow fade, and then you want to get your other clip, which I will add right now, just a random clip, I don't know what it looks like. Um, and then before you add the transition on the second clip, you want to, um, you obviously want to sync it too. So, um, let me keep trimming this clip down until he gets the shot off right about here. Um, it's a charge clip, so you'd want to charge sound effect, obviously. I'm not adding sound effects, so you can, I can't really help you with that right now. I'm just going to remove game sounds. Um, but on blur mode curves again, keyframe Z distance, uh, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 forward by pressing right arrow, uh, put a keyframe here, go to the first one and put it to 0.5. Um, oh wait, yeah, yeah, and you have to, um, right click on the first keyframe and put it to fast fade. So now we should have a decent transition. Yeah, that's a little bit too fast, so if you want to fix it, if you think it's too fast, um, go back to your first one, you see you see the uh, keyframe, you just drag it back, like, I don't know, however much you think it needs. So, that should be... Okay, and then it's still a bit too fast, so I'm going to drag this one out a tiny bit. See, that's way better, that's like smooth, and for the second clip, it is basically the exact same as the first clip, you just, velocity, 3 frames back, put this to 450, 3 frames forward, put it to 50, uh, split it middle point, like you did last time, um, 
Now what you can do is you can right click on your first clip, click on copy, right click the new clip and paste, paste event attributes and it should do exactly what you had last time which you can just keep if you want but I personally don't like having the same effect on every single clip so I'm gonna delete everything but the shakes because the shakes you can just change a little bit and people won't even notice so you can change um, the Y shake here and make it higher or lower I'm gonna make it lower because I don't want the second impact to be as hard as the first impact because that's just dumb but you can do it if you really want I don't I mean I'm not stopping you um, so yeah there's that now we can add uh, glow which is very popular for I don't know why but we can use glow turn the brightness down to like 0.7 or 0.68 that's fine uh, put the color to anything but red or pink because those are ugly I don't know why they're mainstream um, so let's do let's do light blue see that, that looks way better than freaking like look at look at pink bro you can't tell me you like pink like same with red you can't tell me you like that put it on, put it on my blue guys put it on my blue please please um, I want a keyframe brightness uh, put it a bit further down put it to zero uh, put this one on the slow fade like we normally do um, you can add RGB you can add lens blur you can add you can add really whatever um, flicker I'm just gonna add uh, just normal blur I guess I uh, know lens blur I don't really know uh, keyframe it but it's like 0.27 uh, put this down to zero. Go down here. Put on fast fade. 